Formula One rookies have to cope very quickly with the highly competitive and ruthless world that is the pinnacle of motorsport. They also have to tread the fine line between producing an impressive season and not making errors by being too eager. Very few drivers actually have what could be described as a successful rookie year, at least in regards to overall competitiveness. This is most often because rookies rarely get to drive for top teams. However, there has been a rare group of F1 drivers who were fortunate enough to get a car able to showcase their talents, and a very select few that managed to showcase their future potential even in mediocre cars. Welcome to Formula World, I'm your host Dylan Shelley, and this is 7 of the best F1 rookie seasons. First up on this list, and in no particular order, we have Clay Regazzoni. Very few people have had the opportunity to make their F1 debut with Ferrari, and Clay Regazzoni is one of them. In 1970, a Ferrari seat was a very exclusive thing, as Ferrari only ran one car, but as the 1970 season progressed, they decided to run a second car to test out new talent, and that is how Regazzoni got his break in F1. Despite only starting 8 of the 13 races that season, he would still go on to finish 3rd in the championship. Emerson Fittipaldi Emerson Fittipaldi would become the F1 world champion in just his 3rd year, and he was able to showcase his immense talents in just the 5th race of his rookie season when he won the 1970 US Grand Prix. Part of the reason behind Fittipaldi's immediate success was that he got to drive the championship winning Lotus car from the very beginning. Back then, teams in F1 had the choice of running a third car, and Lotus, for the first time, decided to utilise this choice to try out new talent, and Emerson got the chance of a lifetime. Lotus would end up losing their main driver to a fatal accident, and Emerson would be promoted to his place, and he would reward Lotus with a win in the very next race in a championship two years later. Jackie Stewart So Jackie Stewart won three world championships in just nine years, and started his career by showcasing his talents right away. He would have to wait another four years to win his first championship, but during his rookie season in 1965, he finished third in the championships while driving for Owen Racing Organization in a BRM car. The highlight of his rookie season would come at Monza, where he would have a race-long battle with Graham Hill before going on to pick up the win. He would also score another four podiums in his rookie season, which is impressive considering the season only had 10 races. Lewis Hamilton Hamilton is one of those very few drivers who got to drive a car capable of fighting for the championship from the outset. He had distinguished himself in the junior ranks, and McLaren decided to give him a chance in his rookie year. It was not a bed of roses for Hamilton, as his teammate at McLaren would be defending champion and one of the all-time greats, Fernando Alonso. This did not deter Hamilton, as he would get on the podium in his debut race, and he would become the rookie who came closest to winning the Drivers' World Championship by the end of the year, as eventual champion Kimi Raikkonen would only beat him by a single point. Jacques Villeneuve Being the son of an F1 legend like Gilles Villeneuve must not have been an easy task, and yet Jacques Villeneuve did not let expectations weigh him down. He would get to make his debut in a very capable Williams car after winning the kart title the previous year, and he would start his F1 career with a second place in Australia. He would win the fourth race of his rookie season at the Nürburgring, and would finish on the podium in all but five races that season, finishing runner-up in the championship to his teammate Damon Hill. Juan Pablo Montoya Juan Pablo Montoya would have one of the most unusual careers in F1, and his rookie season in 2001 was no different. Like Villeneuve, he came to F1 after winning a title in kart. Out of the 17 races he took part in, he would be unable to finish 11 of them, but he would win one and score three podiums in the remaining six races. He would only race in F1 for another five years, which meant that he spent an overwhelming majority of his career in F1 and when Ferrari was super dominant and winning almost everything. Despite that, Montoya created his own unique legacy with some fiery moments both on and off the track in a rather short F1 career. Ayrton Senna Senna is the only one on this list without a win in his rookie season, and yet he had one of the most impressive nonetheless. Unlike others on this list, he did not get a good car to make his debut in. He drove for a team called Tolman, which was a lower midfield team that could only dream of podiums, and yet Senna scored three podiums with them. In fact, these podiums would be the only that the team ever managed. The highlight of his rookie season was the 1984 Monaco Grand Prix, where he would almost win on a rainy day while racing against the likes of Keke Rosberg, Nicky Lauda, Nigel Mansell and Nelson Piquet. He would also overtake race winner and future rival Alan Prost on track, only for the race to be called off that lap, somewhat controversially, allowing Prost to inherit the win as he was leading at the end of the last lap completed. Senna would go on to have one of the most celebrated careers in F1, and his rookie season made people take notice of him, even though he only got to drive a rather ordinary car. There we have it, 7 of F1's best rookie seasons. This list is by no means comprehensive, and tends to focus more on overall performance in relation to the championship rather than relative performance. So with that said, who do you think had the best rookie season? And was there somebody not on this list that you feel deserves a mention? Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you like this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of Formula 1.